Hey everybody, it's Dominic here, and we're doing another Papa Adventures episode. In this Papa Adventures episode, Papa and the gang goes to Liverpool Garden in Liverpool, England, to see the Beatles for their new show for the new Liverpool movie. It's been a hard day's night, and Uncle Mike ruins it for everybody. Here we go. Man, I am so sick and tired of nothing coming on TV. I'm just glad that Mr. Beastag came on TV when it did. Wait, what's this? Another ad? Let's see what this is. This might be important. Hey, everybody. It's me, John. And have you ever wondered you want to go to England, just why not to see the sights and just to live out your uh, England dream of being there, but I have a surprise ticket for you, you could come to Liverpool Garden and not just sit around in England and seeing boring sights, you could come to Liverpool England and Liverpool Garden and Liverpool England. We have a lot of fun snacks and fun games and stuff and fun uh games and stuff. Plus, we have a garden where you can go and uh, pet sea animals and stuff just in our song, Octopus's Garden. So, yeah. So, don't, don't just sit around at home being bored. Come to Liverpool and see... And see everything there is to see here. Oh my god. Liverpool, we have to go. I'm going to have Uncle Mike drive us to Liverpool, England now. Man, I'm just tired. I I, I, I have a strong feeling that Papa's going to be busting in here any moment now. Three, two, one. Oh my, Uncle Mike, Uncle Mike, I have a surprise for you. What is it, Papa? Did you finally, did you finally grow hair on that face of yours? No, that was when I was young and an adult and hip. But no, that's not that. I have. I have a, a good offer for you. You drive us to Liverpool, England, so we can see the Beatles, and you, I'll get you a whole box of moonshine on the way there. You'll get me a whole box of moonshine if I just drive you guys to the Beatles premiere? Hell no. Uh, did you see what just happened at that Mr. Beast thing? Mr. Beast just hauled my whole gang into his car, and 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 I was left alone in the dark going to the bar. So I'm not going to drive you to some Beetle in Liverpool thing. I think that's a scam. How is that a scam, Uncle Mike? John said it himself. No, no. No, John didn't say him himself. You are such an idiot, Papa. Don't you call me an idiot, Uncle Mike. I am just trying to make everybody happy. And for us to go, this will make everybody happy. Fine. I do love the Beatles. Just show me the commercial and then I'll think about it. Okay, I videotaped the commercial, okay? So I can have proof that this came on. Okay, show it to me. Hey there, it's me, John. Do you have an idea of just going to England just to get it off your bucket list? Well, come, well, come join me in the Liverpool Garden. Well, we have tons of fun, beer, Games, beer, more games, and our new Liverpool movie, It's Been a Hard Day's Night. Plus, we'll have snacks and beer and snacks and alcohol and a whole bunch of beer and alcohol. 
So please come to the please come to Liverpool Garden in England. So what do you think, Uncle Mike? Don't be tons of beer and alcohol there. I don't care. Unless they have moonshine, then I'll go. We will also have some moonshine there for the people who just wants to get down dirty for me and the gang. Oh, oh, I say we go. That's the spirit, Uncle Mike. I knew that moonshine would get you. Now, uh, I am happy to go. Can I tell all the gang? Okay, hold up, hold up. First of all, I don't want you gang causing a luckiest while we're in Liverpool because I don't want people thinking I'm hauling a bunch of idiots into my van. So, yeah. Uncle Mike, we're going to be okay. If you, if you trust me and the gang enough, we'll be okay. Fine, I guess if I take you guys, you guys are, you guys swear there will be moonshine and beer there? Yes, we swear. You, you just heard drawn on the TV. Fine. Well, do you swear there's gonna be, like, hot babes there? Yes, there's probably gonna be hot women there. The, dude, they're the Beatles. They get all the women. Fine. Well, are you sure you're gonna guys are gonna be on their best behavior on this trip if I take you guys? Because if you guys are on their best behavior, I'll grab one of those chairs. I'll grab one of those chairs out there and beat you guys with it. Okay, Uncle Mike, we'll be on our best behavior. Okay, come on, Uncle Mike, get the car ready. Okay. Guys, 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 Uncle Mike just agreed for us to go to Liverpool to go see the Beatles in Liverpool Garden. Dude, that's awesome. I always wanted to go to Liverpool. I wanted to go to Liverpool too, but Daddy said it was too expensive. Yeah, I always wanted to go to Liverpool. Well, now we have a chance to go. Come on, Uncle Mike's waiting for us in the car. Okay, Uncle Mike, we're ready. Yeah, Uncle Mike, we're ready. I'm ready, Uncle Mike. Yeah, we're ready, Uncle Mike. Okay, one more thing. Are you guys, if I take you to this Liverpool event, which is, I don't know, I don't even know if it was a scam caused by AI, AI could do that nowadays. But if I take you to this event, are you sure your guy's going to be on your best behavior for me? Yes, we'll be on your best behavior, Uncle Mike. Now, come on. We don't want to miss this event. Okay. And the, and the gang drove four hours to... To a to a airport so they could get on the plane all the way to Liverpool. All right, everybody, we're here. All right, everybody, did you get all the plane tickets yet? Uh, Papa, there's a problem. When Nani went to go book the tickets, she asked that we book it for Spirit Airlines, and she booked the other four for um uh, for our uh, first class. So, one of you guys are going to go on Spirit, and the other four is coming with me and Uncle Mike to uh, ride a, a private jet. Okay, okay. There's no way I am riding with you losers on a private jet, all with you four losers. And there is no way I am going to be stuck with you losers, but for four hours. Here's, here's how it's going to go down. All four of you losers are going to be on a private, are going to be on a private spirit airlines trip all the way to Liverpool. And I am going to be tr just chilling in first class 
getting alcohol and beer and moonshine uh, while you guys drive in the shitty airlines, uh, Spear Airlines crap. No, Uncle Mike, I want to ride with you. Why can't we ride with you? Because I don't want you guys spending all my money. You reach the limit on the crappy airline tickets. And, uh, yeah. So, um, unless you, uh, want to make up for that, uh, you can, uh, go to the toilet and, um, uh, eat a piece of poop if you want. Or Uncle Jimmy's always offering to go uh, to uh, his house and work with him in the poop. No, I don't want to work with. I don't want to work with Uncle Jimmy in the poop. Fine, we'll go on Spirit Airlines. All right. Ah, uh, this is so nice. Always being by myself. Hey, sir, how, how are you liking your uh, airline suite package? I love it. Mr. Beast, is that you? How dare you kidnap all my gang and force me to go to the bar? How dare you do that to me? I I'm sorry, sir. That was a long time ago. I didn't know. I'm a changed guy now. You better be a change guy. I am a change guy. And do you want any soda for your uh, table or you're good? I'm good right now, but thanks. You're welcome. Where are you guys heading? Liverpool Garden? Because these idiots want to go. Get this. We saw an ad for Liverpool to go to some stupid Liverpool Garden, which I don't want to go, and and I get this, it might be a scam. So if it is a scam and we get scammed, I lose thirty thousand bucks. That's not good. Well, I hope you guys have a fun time in your Liverpool trip. Thank you, Mister Beast. And oh. Here's a Mr. Beast bar for your troubles. I hope you withdraw that. Thank you, Mr. Beast. No problem, bro. If you ever need me, give me a holler and I'll be there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, oh, I like this Mr. Beast. He gave me a free chocolate bar and I get to live a life in a sweet the wax package oh my gosh this cannot be any better hey uncle mike hey uncle mike yeah hey uncle mike we're back how the hell did you guys get on this airline you guys aren't supposed to be here you guys are supposed to be on spirit wait where's aunt gina and how did you get off the spirit well, I know somebody on Spirit who happens to know the captain, and the captain just turned around, and before he boarded the plane, before he, we got to go, we said, Aunt Gina, can you please ask the captain to go? If you ask the captain to go, uh, we won't leave you on the plane, and we'll cancel the ticket. So uh, Aunt Gina asked the captain, and here's the funny part. After Aunt Gina asked the captain, we all got off, but Aunt Gina, we just left her ass there. So, yeah. So now you're stuck with us. Are you kidding me? First, you guys are coming on this trip, and second, you guys are making me live. Uh, you guys are making me live a nightmare with you guys. That is it, guys. When we get home, we're not ever going on another trip after this ever, ever, ever again. Okay, Uncle Mike, whatever you say. Ten hours later. Damn, that Spirit Airlines crap wasn't good. I am never going on that shitty, stupid Airlines crap again.
How is your airline? How is your uh, spirit airline? I don't like it and I don't want to talk about it. Okay, dang. Yeah, how is your spirit airlines? I had to get stuck between these doozers the whole way. Well, I'm sorry, Uncle Mike. Yeah, don't forget about it. All right, we need to get a rental car. Papa, can you go get a rental car for us? Yes, I'll go get a rental car for you guys. Shoot, say the what rental car should we get, Pop? Should we get Uncle Mike? Well, there's a sweet rental car deal place I just uh, saw on the way down here. It's called Liverpool Rentals for Liverpool hookers. So I, I think Uncle Mike is going to love it. Okay, let's go. Dang, that sweet piece of candy is so cool. Yeah, that sweet piece of candy is pretty hot. Hi. Hello? Hello? I could just stare at her for hours. Hello, do you need something? Ah, yes. Uh, we need a car uh, for uh, Uncle Mike, the last name Goble. Yes, I actually have a car hooked up for you. It's over there in a the lot. You can just pick it up. Here's your keys. And every rental car and every rental car you buy, you get a free kiss from me. Mm. Don't tell my husband, Mr. Gold. He'll kill me if I did that. Okay, I won't. Okay, I I think I found the keys to the car. Let's go, Papa. Okay. Okay, Uncle Mike, we're back with the keys to the car. All right, you better not get something cheap on me now, because if you guys got something cheap, that would be so stupid of you guys. Yeah, we didn't get anything cheap. Show them, Maiden. All right, ta-da. Here's your car, Uncle Mike. What in the hell was that? It's your car. Yeah, don't you love it? Me and Papa picked it out. I don't like that car. Could you please return that and get your money back? No, we, yeah, we can't return it. We spent all our life savings on that. Yeah, uh, we're not going to be able to return it after a trip. Sorry. Oh, shoot. There is no way I am riding in that piece of crap car. There's got to be a manager around here somewhere. Manager, manager, where are you? I'm right here. Do you need me? Oh, dang, dude. That's a piece of crap car right there. I mean, how can I help you? I know it's a piece of crap, but can I get can I get my refund back? These idiots don't know what they're buying, and they buy they bought a piece of crap car. So can I can I please have a refund? Sorry, no refunds until the end of summer. I'm sorry. Why can't you give me a refund? Because. You're going to have to talk to the boss who owns these stupid cars, who owns these things, because I'm not the boss. I'm just the owner of the car, do car selling place. Sorry. God damn it, Papa. If, if, if you make me act a fool in this car, I'm going to get you. God, Uncle Mike's being mean. He's being ungrateful. Yeah, he is. God, this thing only goes to, uh, one mile to the gallon. God dang it. We'll never make it in time. 
Look at it this way, Uncle Mike. Are we sure not riding in the motorcycle? Yeah, those things are loud. Plus, if you, plus if you put your put your leg in the ignition, it burns your leg. It burns the hell out of your leg. I know. Okay, we're here. Where are we at? We're at Liverpool, England. Don't you see the sign? Liverpool Garden, straight ahead. Oh, there's the Beatles. Okay, Aiden, Nani, uh, and Trina, do you want to get out and meet the Beatles? Sure, I would love to meet the Beatles. I would love to meet the Beatles. Yes, I would love to meet the Beatles. Okay, guys, guys, before you go ahead and meet the Beatles, there's one more rule I have to make. Don't don't embarrass me. Don't act like a fool. Don't embarrass me in front of all this. Don't don't make me look like a fool or a pedophile with all these deities. So yeah, just let me go and I'ma go make my way to the moon shrine. Okay, you make your way to the moon shrine. Yeah, Uncle Mike, wake oh uh, yeah, Uncle Mike, make your way to the moon shrine. Alright. Hey, I think I know that guy. Uncle Mike, Uncle Mike, do you want an autograph? No, no, I no, I don't want to give a crap. Please just let me go. I'm going to go to the moon shrine. See y'all later. All he cares about is beer. I wish somebody would love us. Hey, you in the back? Yeah, you in the back. I see you. Man, I love this moonshine. Stay tuned for part two when Uncle Mike destroys the whole place.